Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about Spring AI Olema. We are going to discuss what is Spring AI Olema, how we can integrate it out in our Spring Boot application. If you are new to the Spring AI concept, there are videos on my channel where I have discussed about AI introduction in Spring Boot. We also have discussed about how we can integrate the OpenAI chat models in Spring Boot. And we also discussed about how we can integrate the image generator model in our Spring Boot application so that we can generate the custom image that we want. So everything we have discussed there on the uh, other videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Spring AI Olema and how we can integrate it out in our Spring Boot application. So first of all, let me try to elaborate some uh, more things about Olema, what it is and then what are the LLM languages and then what are the uh, features of Olema and then we'll see how we can install the Olema on our Windows machine and then after that we'll try to integrate it out in our Spring Boot application by creating a Spring Boot application. So let me try to go to the next slide to discuss about Olema first. So Olema is nothing but it is a framework designed to help users get up and running with the large language models. So LLM means large language models. LLMs are nothing but they are the models that uh, give you the proper response according to the prompt that you provide. Okay, so these are the chat models that we are going to discuss here. So Olema is a framework that help users to get up and running with the LLMs. And the example of LLMs are Llama 3, Mistral and Jim, Jima 2. Okay, these are the LLMs models that uh, Olema supports and you can run these models over the Olema. Okay. It allows users to run, customize and create models on their local machines supporting Mac OS, Linux and the Windows. Here we are going to use uh, Windows and we are going to install the Olema on Windows machine. So let me try to go to the next slide to discuss about the features of Olema. The first one is it supports a variety of the models. Olema supports a variety of models including the latest Llama 3 with 70 billion parameters sizes okay now coming to the second feature which is customization user can customize models using the model file to set parameters and system messages embedding models olema supports embedding models for the application like retrieval argument generation rack allowing for the efficient semantic search and the data retrievals olema integrates with the popular tools like long chain and Llama index enabling seamless workflow in the Python and the JavaScript. Now coming to the next slide, how to start Olema locally. So to get it started, a user can download Olema and utilize its CLI to pull and run the image uh, and manage the models. And the platform also provides the REST API support for more advanced integration and operation. Okay. So let me try to walk you through how you can start uh, Olema locally on your system. So let me try to come out of it and go to this uh, Spring AI website. So just go to this Spring AI website, search for the Spring AI and go to this one, AI references. Here you will find the Spring AI, what it is and all those things you can uh, come off here and then try to have a look. And then if you'll go to this uh, Spring AI APIs and if you'll go inside this uh, Things you can see there are so many models are there like chat models, embedding models, image models, audio models, vector database. So these models are used to uh, generate like chat models are used to generate the chat, embedding models are used to generate the racks and image model is used to generate the images and then audio model is used to generate the audio based upon the prompt that you are going to provide them. Okay, now we are going to this uh, chat model. Inside that chat model, if you'll go inside it, you have uh, so many APIs, so many uh, domains uh, that they provide their APIs for the chat models like Amazon Bedrock and Entropic 3, Azure OpenAI, Google Vertex AI. Similarly, we have Olema and we also discussed about the OpenAI. Now, if you'll go to the Olema, here you can see that with Olema, you can run various language, large language models locally and generate text from them. Spring AI supports the Olema text generation with Olema chat model. So to start integrating with Olema, the prerequisite you should have Olema ready on your machine. So you first need to run Olema on your local machine. Refer to the official uh, Olema project 
to get started running models on your local machine. And here is the uh, installation command that you need to run in order to install the Llama 3 on your Olima. So let me try to open this readme file and then uh, I will show you how these things are looking like. So this is Olima readme file. This is the Olima project and if you go down on the readme file, so you will find that uh, there are the uh, download links. If you are on the Mac OS, you can directly come here and download the uh, Olima file. If you are on Windows, you can do that. Directly come here and download this uh, Olema Windows file. And for the Linux, this is the command. And if you want to do a Docker uh, installation, you can also use these things. Okay. And in order to uh, run a LLM, large language model on the Olema, you have to run this command. Olema run and then that model name. Okay. And this is the latest one. And this is what we are going to use as well. So uh, this is about it's a uh, installation thing so what i did is i tried downloading this windows preview so just click on it and just wait for a few seconds you can see it start downloading the things i already have downloaded this olema setup.exe file so it is nothing but it is a exe file what you have to do is you have to just once it is downloaded you have to just uh, install it how you install the other software Okay, so what I did is I just, uh, if you'll go there, you can see I just, uh, what I did is I just try to uh, double click on it and it take, take few seconds, a few minutes of time and then it will install on your Windows machine. After it is installation, what you can do is you can open the command prompt to check if uh, this is installed on your system or not. So just open the command prompt and run this uh, command called Olema minus v to check out the version of olema that you downloaded so here you can see the olema version that i downloaded is uh, 0.1.48 and uh, this is downloaded successfully on my on my machine so these are the commands like olema as you'll see here you will find a lot of commands that are available with olema like olema serve create so run pull push list ps cp rm and help so you can go to this uh, olema commands and set up the commands and then you can uh, have a look how the commands are working once that is done, uh, you can also play with the couple of commands from Olema. Now, let me try to go to the browser again. And here you can see, if you'll go down uh, to quick start to run and chat with Llama 3, what you have to do is you have to run this Olema run Llama 3. So copy this command. And before going to run this out, let me try to tell you that this Llama 3 is a model with the 4.7 GB uh, uh, size. Okay, so what you have to do is, Make sure you have this much space and it will take few minutes of your time or few like say, it's depend upon your internet speed, right? It takes some time to download it out. So what I did is I just run this command. Olema run Llama 3 and then uh, it will take for me. I already have downloaded it out. So it is not taking much time. Now it is ready for you. It can take few minutes of time or more than that. So wait for that. Once it is downloaded, what you can do is you can, uh, you, you will see this send a message uh, prompt there. So you have to send a message that you want to uh, get the response for. So let me try to send a message. Let's say, uh, who is Virat Kohli? And then uh, wait for a few seconds. It will give you the response for this prompt that you passed. So you can see that it's started generating this uh, response. Virat Kohli is nothing but it's an Indian cricketer who plays for the Indian national team and is widely regarded as one of the best batsmen okay, in the world. So you can see that he, he will generate the prompt according, he will generate the response according to the prompt that you sent. Okay, so this is how you can install the Olema on your Windows machine and if you are going to choose the Docker path that is also fine. Okay, now let me try to minimize this out. And now what are the things that we need to do in order to integrate this Olema in our Spring Boot application? So let me try to go to this uh, IntelliJ and uh, first of all, create a Spring Boot application or what you can do, you can walk, walk through this uh, steps that they are providing here. So you can see uh, for the auto configuration, this is the starter dependency that we need. And uh, for the chat properties, you have to go there and allow this Olema, the Spring AI Olema, and you have to provide the base URL. The default is this. So 
let me try to go to this uh, default URL. So if you'll open it up, you'll find that uh, this is saying Olema is running. Let me try to maximize it out. So you can see you are on this port, uh, locally on this port number, which is, uh, is uh, 11434. And this is the uh, default port for the Olema because our Olema is uh, locally up and running. And that is why we are getting uh, this uh, response here at this uh, uh, URL, which says that Olema is running. Okay. Now, if you will, uh, yeah, this is about Olema. Now, again, let me try to go to this uh, Spring AI. And you can see that uh, there are a lot of other options that uh, are provided here. And you have to set it out if you want to do. So what we, are, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Spring Boot application. We'll try to set these properties in application.properties file like uh, base URL and uh, this model that we are going to use. Now if we'll go down. Here you can see this is the uh, math. Uh, you can say this is the prompt that you can pass. This is how you can pass your prompt and get your uh, response. Okay. So this is the method. Uh, which is uh, calling like this is the prompt that uh, shows how you can pass your prompt and then what are the models that you want to use and what are the temperature you want to set and then according to that it will give you the response now if you go down you will see a multi-model things and uh, again if you go down more you will find this sample controller so what we are going to do is uh, we have to set this uh, three properties and then we are directly going to create this controller and uh, we are good to go so go to the IntelliJ let me try to create one Spring Boot application so just go to the file new and uh, project and here let me try to create a project called uh, Spring Olema and use Maven here go to the next I'm going to use Lombok and web dependency apart from that we need the Olema that we can also uh, come here to this uh, page and we can copy this dependency or what you can do is you can directly uh, here also you can add it out so if you search for the Olema you'll find this starter dependency just create it out with these three dependencies and then we are good so we created our application just for a few seconds it will take few seconds of your time to uh, download it out the starter dependency that we added and then do the necessary configuration once it is done we can start doing the development so yeah we are good what we are going to do is we are going to uh, do a simple thing which is uh, we are directly going to create this controller here and inside the controller uh, what we are doing i will try to tell you so before going to do that let me try to set this configuration which is uh, copy this out and then uh, go to your olema project Go to the source, main, and application or properties file. Okay, wait for a second. I think it is good now. Just paste it out. And here, what we are going to do is we are not going to use this model, which is Mistral. The model that we are going to do use is uh, Llama 3. So just copy this model and then uh, go there and paste it out. And if you want to set this uh, temperature, you can do. Otherwise, I'm just going to uh, comment it out. So what? We are doing here is we are going to set the base URL and the model that we are using. Okay, so the base URL for this uh, Olema is HTTP localhost one one four three four, and the model that we are going to use is Llama three. So we are good, and you can here you can see it's uh, still generating the response for you. It is a bit, bit slow, but yeah, that is that it is okay. So we are uh, good with the point of configuration now what other things that we need to do is we need to create this controller so this is the chat controller so just copy this out go to your java and just let me try to create one controller called chat controller and then what we are going to do is paste the things that we copied from there just let me try to import all the uh, necessary dependency that we need and then uh, we are good okay so just wait make sure this chat response is coming from the chat model okay and then uh, import this flux as well 
user message okay so everything we imported it out now let me try to tell you what things we are doing here in the controller so in the controller we ha we are uh, embedding out or we are auto wiring injecting the olema chat models which is coming from uh, you can see this is coming from the ai olema now once it is have we are uh, creating a chat controller constructor we are injecting it out here and auto wiring this controller uh, this constructor okay then we are developing this two uh, APIs, which is gate mapping, and it says AI generate. We are passing the message, and in the message you can pass your prompt that you want to uh, pass, and then uh, it will give you a response, which is a map of uh, generation. It will like it will generate a map, which has the key as generation, and it will append the response as a value of this generation key. Okay, so this is how we are setting it out. The same for the second one also. We are passing the message here. And uh, we are passing the new user message. And then uh, as a prompt, and then we are calling this stream method of the chat model to uh, what we are going to pass this prompt. Okay, so the first one, we are directly passing the message uh, and calling it out. Like we are using the call method and passing the message inside it. For the second one, we are creating a uh, prompt and then we are passing that prompt to the stream method of the chat models. So both of the APIs you can try it out. I'm just going to uh, run this application and then try to hit the first API first and then we'll see how it is working. So I think our application is up and running and now what we can do is we can hit this and here we are uh, on this uh, terminal we can directly come here and try to hit this api you can also use the postman to hit it out so let me try to move, remove this message and uh, let me try to ask him uh, some queries here so let's say i'm just going to ask who is uh, pm of india okay and then hit this API. It will take few seconds of time and it will give you the response here. So just wait for that and then after that, uh, once it started generating the response, it will also take few seconds of time to complete it out. Here you can see uh, it has given you this uh, response for the prompt that we passed with, which is who is Virat Kohli and these are the things that he it provided us, okay? It's provided as the betting average, Ranji Trophy winners, Indian captain, and all those years when he, he was Indian captain. And he mentioned about 2012, 13, 14, 19. So all the things uh, that he can gather about the Virat Kohli, gather it out, and then he has given us in the response. So in overall, he says that Virat Kohli is widely regarded as one of the greatest batman in the cricket history with a strong record in both test and ODI cricket. So uh, this is how the uh, things are. Now here you can see it's still uh, working on the uh, response. So just wait for a few seconds. So here you can see it's uh, generated the response for us. And you can see how we are generating the responses. If you go to the chat controller, you'll find that it is generating as a map of uh, key pairs. The key is generation and the pair is uh, like the value is uh, the response that we wanted to retrieve. So you can see as of now, the Prime Minister of India is Narendra Modi Das Modi. He has been serving as the 15th and current Prime Minister of India since May 26, 2014. Okay. And all the other things are also mentioned here. So you can go and then uh, read it out. So this is how you can say uh, we can integrate Olema in our Spring Boot application when our Olema is locally up and running, okay? So what you can do is you can uh, also hit the second API. I'm not going to do that. So what we learned here is uh, how we can integrate Olema in our Spring Boot application with the help of Spring AI. And what is Olema? How we can install it on our uh, Windows machine. And on the top of Olema, how we can uh, start running a uh, large language model so everything we discuss in this video so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks